Hey y'all, my name's Tyson, and this time around, let's create some sections in SketchUp in preparation for taking them to layout. Yeah, so this will be part one of two videos, and here we're gonna just stay in SketchUp and create some section cuts and share some tips and tricks, but this will be kind of a high level overview of creating sections for layout. And then in part two, uh, the next video, we'll build out some pages and layout with these sections. And again, this is a high level overview of sections, but with that said, let's have a look. This model is um, the Whistler Library, Whistler Canada. It was designed by the firm HCMA and Let's jump right in. I've created this model. I've built it with a number of tags. They may not necessarily be the ideal tags for what we're doing, but it should work out. Now, when I add a section plane, I can tap the right arrow key, left arrow key, up arrow key. You can um, align sections and lock them to the axes. So I'm gonna tap the right arrow key cut a section, let's say right through these stairs. And this will be, let's say our east elevation. I don't actually know if this is east, but we're gonna pretend that it is. When you create a section like this, you have a couple options. Under the view menu, you have section planes, section cuts, which is the poche section uh, sorry, section cut is turning the cut on and off and section fill. Now I've added these options up here on my toolbar for simplicity. So here you can see that is the section fill. The section cut will actually be cutting through the model and the section plane is turning this on and off. Now because this is along the axis, I could, let's say, jump through some of my views, find the right one, Go up to camera, turn perspective off, and I've got my orthographic elevation. However, that said, I'm gonna turn my section plane back on. If uh, this was not on the axis, you can right click on a section plane and say, align view. And that's really handy, like I say, especially if, if you have section cuts that are not on an elevation, or if you just want have a sec, uh, several section cuts and just want to automatically jump to one. So with this setup, I'm pretty close to what we want. Maybe I don't, I may add people, let's say in layout, but the one thing I'll do here is uh, let's turn some of the entourage elements off. And then let's change the style just so that we'll create kind of a few different styles. And this one will just be a simple black and white style. Um, I think I will simply turn the axis off. But one other thing that we may want to do here, I think I will leave this as it is, but we might want to turn shadows on and then adjust them here. Now you do have some control in layout, but it will probably be to our advantage to do that here if we wanted them. Like I say, I'm actually gonna not, uh, not bother with shadows, but go ahead and do that. And then we'll go to scenes and save this. Now in, layout one of the things that we'll do is we'll clean up some of this other the other pieces here so that this looks a little better it's really helpful to have tags that you can turn on and off and we can those carry over to layout but some of this stuff will clean up in layout uh, directly so that's a simple introduction to creating a section plane let's create another to create a floor plan i'm going to turn my previous style back on and turn that section cut off. 
Now this section, let's, uh, let's say we want to put it right around here and I'm going to tap the up arrow key. And So we'll go to a top down view. When I look at this, I think what I want to do on this one is turn off some of this other, um, some of the surrounding area here. So let's turn off all the entourage, which will turn off the ground. And let's turn off, let's say the sidewalk and the garage level. I'm going to generally fill my view here. Now, a couple of things that you can do. I, I actually like this style. Um, I will turn off the section display. This looks fine. I'm actually going to save this as a scene right now. But you could, some of the options you have, let's say in the styles, is to come in and say, well, if your section fill, I think I just got a dark gray as a section fill, but you can change this to anything you like. And another thing to note, uh, particularly in this view, I'm going to dig into my model. Now, the way I built this um, originally probably wasn't set up very well for breaking it down because I think the floor and the walls, I was. I was just going off of a, um, some of the drawings I could find. But when I look at the floor now, I sort of broke it out separately. If I hide the rest of the model, you can see that this is just a really basic floor, but I have broken it around, broken it uh, surface so that I can have some different materials. And that's just aligned with the walls. But it could be really helpful to build your model out Know, as different um, walls, floors, elements. Again, different things you may want to turn on and off. The other thing to point out here is that these doors, I did put them on their own tag, but we did a skill builder just within the past few weeks about how you could take something like a door and combine several components inside it. So I could have a closed door, an open door, a door swing symbol or various elements, put those on different tags and then import that entire component. And then I'd be able to, to close all the doors at once, open them at once. So if that sounds like something interesting and you haven't seen that skill builder, go check out uh, the skill builder just uh, within the last few weeks. All right, so we've got our floor plan, our elevation. Let's do one more. So I'm going to turn perspective back on and toggle these off. Let's say in this one, it's um, we kind of want an illustrated look where we cut a section plane just through the roof so that we can look inside the building and highlight something. Well, a section plane will cut through whatever context you put it in. As we've seen so far, the section planes, we've just put them on basically in the model as a whole. So anything we put just cuts through the entire model. But if we wanted to, we could go into uh, a group or component and cut just through that. However, and if I examine this, it looks like my roof I've got my roof, I've got the, the beams that support it, I've got a different piece for a roof. So I'm gonna combine all of those into one group. So select the ceiling, the beams, and this roof, and I'm gonna group those together. Let me put those back on the roof layer, roof, <laughs> roof tag, old habits. Now, if I wanted to put this section cut aligned with, let's say, this part of the building, that's not actually aligned with the axis. 
And there's a couple ways that we might try this. One is we could simply put a, uh, a section, uh, maybe aligned with here, and then if I take this section, I can move it in and right click on it and reverse. Let me do it up here and reverse. So remember that you can reverse a section cut and it might be easier in our case to do that. I'm going to just to show one other way we could do this. I'm going to turn off the roof assembly. And let's say I put a section cut using the inside. It's facing the right way and I pull it back a little bit. I'm going to cut this out of the model so I can go edit, cut, or use a cup, uh, keyboard shortcut. And I'm going to turn the roof assembly back on. And then I'm going to enter that roof assembly and paste it in place. You can copy and paste section cuts uh, just like anything else. So by pasting it, it was exactly where I wanted it earlier. And it's cutting just the context of the roof group that I've entered. So like before, let's turn the section planes off. Choose a view. Um, I don't know if shadows at this point might be useful or not. Actually, let's turn our entourage back on. This looks fairly dark. <laughs> uh, so let's lighten these shadows up. Something like that. And let's say, you know, this is just a, we'll use this as an illustration purpose. Being able to cut just through the roof. So a view something like this, and I'm going to Save that as a scene. Now let's double check, make sure these are all working correctly. So we've got our floor plan, our east elevation. All right, perfect. That we can take the layout and uh, build some pages from. Great, we're set up. I like to say in the next video, we will take these same examples, take them over to layout and build some pages out. Um, let us know if you have questions on anything we covered here. Like I say, there's actually more we could do with sections and certainly uh, some advanced tips if you were gonna do uh, in-depth construction documentation. But this is a, a good introduction. If you have any other questions in general or any suggestions for other things that we can do in these videos, please let us know in the comments. As always, give us a, a like, a subscribe, and thanks all for joining us. We'll see you in the next one.